New at 11, Woodlake City officials decide late tonight to extend the city's state of emergency to continue its storm response. But frustrated residents say that's not enough. They packed into the city council meeting tonight, upset and outraged over the flooding damage to their homes with more rain on the way. Action News reporter Nick Garcia shows us their demands for action and why they blame more than Mother Nature for their misery. And this is just evidence right here of what's happening at my home with the reconstruction so on. That's insulation in my home. If I rebuild it, can you tell me that it's safe in my area? People in Woodlake pushed to the brink after weeks of relentless rain and unforgiving floods. The emergency city council meeting Monday night was standing room only as people shared their setbacks and questioned those in power. Many residents claim this new development contributed to severe flooding of older homes off Cajon Avenue. That should have been a flooding creek. It should have withhold the water for it not to go out to the outskirts of the other homes. Zaragoza says her mom's house is a total loss after it filled up with water twice since March 10th. The water was all the way to her bedroom nightstand and she woke up to my sister obviously screaming because she was scared. They don't know how to swim. She was one of several who asked the city to look into the construction of the new homes. The city of Woodlake said in the meeting that it was not a defined creek and all the proper measures were taken before construction began. It's been constant sleepless nights just worrying about, hey, are we going to get hit with flooding again? Like, is this going to happen? And so it, it's a fear that I, I'm pretty sure everybody's having at this moment. Families impacted by the flooding now clinging to hope that the worst of the damage is done. But with more rain in the forecast, they're afraid of the unknown. City officials say they're waiting for assistance from FEMA and are doing what they can in the meantime to help residents find financial resources as they brace for more rain. Nick Garcia, ABC 30 Action News.